I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. I'm Darren Haggard, and uh, the artist, I guess, for uh, the comic book for Trouble and Time. Uh, the artwork that is shown in the documentary. There's something special about comic books and how they, they communicate to people. Um, I think traditionally they've always been kind of, um, I don't know how do I say it, kind of tossed to the side. Those are kids' format. It's for children. Um, adults don't, don't you know, read comics. That's for children. And These are dynamic stories with interesting deep characters and uh, complex plot lines a lot of the time. And, um, and the artwork's unique. You just don't see it anywhere else. It's, uh, it's very specific to comic books. I think the comic medium works so well in telling this particular story about the, uh, the troubles of the Mormons um, in Missouri is because of you know what I mentioned earlier. Comics are really good at telling a dynamic story. They visually um, can really emphasize uh, various aspects of the story. Um, that's a very dynamic time period in, in the early saints' um, evolution, if you will. Um, a lot happened both sides, a lot of dramatic things happened, and you could really adapt the artwork to emphasize those various points and tell that story um, in a way that, you know, short of a huge uh, multi-million dollar budget movie, you know, can tell. It's interesting the concept of comic style art and, and documentaries, you know, I've not seen it done too much. Over the years, I've seen a couple of shows on various channels, various subjects, uh, try to do it, and to some some degree of success. Um, but I think it's a good idea in regards to wanting to get younger people more involved in, in historical films or documentaries. Um, it makes it more interesting. Um, I think they're more familiar with that kind of, of imagery, uh, over the top, dramatic, you know, uh, comic style artwork as opposed to black and white photos, you know, um, of a hundred years ago. Um, I think they identify with it a little more and uh, makes it more interesting with them. I found out a lot historically about the, the history of the church and I thought I had a decent understanding of things and um, I found out that I really enjoyed finding out more about what went on. And I really loved the even-handedness of this documentary. Um, and I tried to make sure I wasn't too biased you know, being a member of the church, um, in, in my presentation of the story, I wanted to uh, really try to make sure I understood, and that way I got across that you know there's two sides to every story, um, and just because the saints experienced a lot of persecution um, doesn't outright make the other people evil. Um, so I appreciated how it forced me to look at the history like that. Um, you know, these people thought they were doing the right thing just as much as the saints thought they were doing the right thing.